Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Lunar Magic Hacking for Super Mario World. In this series, we are going to be taking a look at music, custom graphics, custom palettes, custom level design, and more. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button for future videos on the channel, and let's get started. So, anyway, go down to the description of the video and download all of these folders. The only thing that will not be included is the Super Mario World ROM, because I cannot provide that. Um, there are ways to find it online, um, definitely um, search it up because I'm not really allowed to tell you exactly how to get it or where to get it from, but you should just be able to find it pretty quickly. So what you're going to do is put all these essentially in a, the folder Lunar Magic Tutorial. Um, I just named it tutorial, but you can change it as well, it'll be a different name. Uh, but what you're going to do is just make sure you have all these folders. So let's just walk through everything that we have. First, we have custom music, which is uh, from a program called Add Music K. This allows us to insert custom songs into our ROM hack very easily and very simply. Next, we have e X graphics. So this basically means these are custom extra graphics that are not yet in the game as well. Here we have the YYCHR graphic editor. This allows us to change the pixel art, import new ones, and as well recolor and change a whole bunch of really cool um, pictures and stuff like that inside the game. Uh, this is very important. This will be in our palette and um, graphic editor uh, video, so that will be another video. Uh, levels, I just made this folder just to put levels and back them up because if something goes wrong and you lose uh, your levels or whatever or your game gets corrupted, at least you'll be able to have those levels to import in a different game. And they're just very useful because you can also download levels online and take a look at them as well. In the palette folder, we have the palette, and I will give you guys this palette inside the folder. Um, this is just the regular palette that's in the overworld, um, so I just saved it there. You will be able to save palettes as well, um, and I'll show you guys when we do that video. Uh, we have ROM backup, and this essentially is very, very key to put a ROM backup of your game in here. If you do not do that and something happens, you will not have your ROM and there's no... It's not that easy to, to recover, essentially. So I would recommend, before you're going to do a big change, like change the title screen or something like that, I recommend you do make a copy, or just, you know, make a copy uh, on Google Drive, and then replace it every time something goes right. And that's what I'm doing when I'm creating my ROM hacks. Uh, and then we have here Lunar Magic. This is our main editor. This allows us to take a file, for example, like Super Mario World, and edit it in any way we see fit. Now, of course, um, I, this is just an introduction video to get you guys started. Um, I'm just going to talk about some of the smaller uh, details of this, uh, because you guys will want to know. So essentially, let's take a look at everything. Uh, we have the thing to open up the game. We have um, to figure out like what what was your last recent file they opened. Uh, we have a selected level number, so if I want to change the level, for example, 102, uh, I can change that very, very easily and very effectively. Um, this is our save button, undo and redo. Then we have these are ground things, so that, for example, if you click this one, you're allowed to pick up ground. And if you pick this one, you're only allowed to pick up sprites. We have the objects and um, sprites editor windows, so these are basically to let you just, just insert stuff um, when you're having, say, the objects, and you can just select different looking um, objects. Uh, more into that when we talk about level design in that video. Uh, we have 8x8 tile editor, we have the 16x16 tile map editor, we have the background layer, so this you can actually change, uh, more on that in the, in the next video. Uh, we also have, here is the overworld um, editor so this allows us to change any aspect 
of the overworld if we want to change, for example, um, you know, tiles, move them around. We will talk about more things about how you can create your own custom uh, world overworld on the next, uh, in a future video, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, but don't forget, each level is assigned to a square. I'm also going to uh, talk about that a little bit more as well. Um, and then, of course, here we have the palette editor, which allows us to change the color and how things look. Well, for example, uh, you can just change uh, colors and stuff. Uh, but, but that's what we're going to talk about in a future video as well. Uh, we also have our zooming in. This allows us to turn off animation. These are quick extract graphics. So, for example, if you're going to change graphics, you want to extract them all, and then you'll be able to put them back in. And that's how it works. You can't just quickly import them. You just have to take them all out, uh, change them, and then back import them. They don't just come into the ROM uh, very quickly. Here we also have a quick extract from extra graphics. So, say you have an extra item or extra things that are maybe not replaced or anything. New graphics, new items, and stuff like that. You can create those with, um, you know, and ex extract them and then insert them and stuff like that. Here we also have, you can, oh, uh, these are a little bit more um, advanced. I'll probably talk about these eventually, um, not as of now, they're nothing that you would really need to worry about if you're making a simple ROM hack. Um, I will definitely cover these eventually, but not yet. Um, and these are just essentially a number of exits that you can do. You have like midway entrances, for example, there's one right here, a secondary entrance. Um, yeah, I see there's also... Um, some other things like link to exits. You can also do different exits and screens. Uh, for example, if you have like a screen here, you can do it here as well. Here we have the changed properties and stuff like that. These aren't that um, important, I would say, as of now what we're going to be working with. A button that is important is the music, which you can change. Um, but other than that, a lot of these other stuff are really technical and not really needed for what we're going to be doing. And uh, unless you're really doing some very, very um, specific stuff, they're not that important. Um, I mean, you could use them, but we're probably uh, just going to look at the simple and basic stuff of, of how you create your own ROM hack. Right? A lot of these things are a little more difficult. Anyway, that basically wraps it up. And hopefully by the time we're done with this entire series, um, you will understand a lot of hacking and you'll be able to create a game um, and publish it somewhere like romhacking.net. Until next time, make sure to subscribe to see future videos on the channel and leave a like, comment down below, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.